Hello, I'm Matt Paris, the Education Librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to search for peer-reviewed empirical research articles in the ERIC database within the last 10 years. We're going to start out at the Lovejoy Library homepage, and I'm going to start out and click on Articles, Journals, and More. And then I'm going to scroll down and click on Subject Guides and Databases. And that will bring up, at the bottom of the screen, the A to Z list. Now I've got an alphabetical grid at the top of all of our databases. Today we're going to go into ERIC, the educational database, and I'll click on E. We'll have to scroll down a little bit to get to ERIC. When I come over and click on this, if you are doing this from off campus, you'll be prompted to type in your student EID at this point to access the database. Now we're at ERIC. Before we start looking for empirical research articles, it's a good idea to have a broad subject descriptor for the subject you're looking for. If you don't know what exactly what subject you're looking for, a good place to start is at the top of the screen in the blue border under the thesaurus. When I click on this, ignore the top box and we want to go down to the second. I'm going to search for empirical research articles within the last 10 years in some topic or subheading involving reading. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for, so I'll just start out doing reading and click on Browse. These are all the terms, all the subject descriptors in ERIC using the term reading. And I'll talk more about the subject descriptors in just a second. Down here on the bottom, reading improvement, that sounds pretty good. So I'm going to click on that. Once I've done that, I want to plug this in to search in the ERIC database. Click on the box. Click on up here in the searching box and click search. Now, as you can see, I have a large set using the subject term reading improvement. By subject terms, that means it's searching in this field down here. And if you look down here, you can see it's searched for reading improvement. 5,114 1, or whatever is way too many. We're going to narrow this search. And the way we do that is, underneath the sub search boxes, I'm going to click on Advanced Search. And first thing I'm going to do is put some limitations on. I'm going to click on the box Peer Reviewed. Then we're going to put a date limitation. Two thousand five to two thousand fifteen, and we want to click one more box journal articles. Now we're going to limit that search of five thousand to only journal articles from 2005 to 2015 that are peer reviewed. When we go back up, now we're going to start searching for empirical research articles on reading improvement. There's no real surefire way to search for empirical research articles, but there are a couple of terms you can plug in that will help. I'm going to type in I'm going to type in research and we'll just do a search and see what we come up with. So I've still got quite a few. Let's look down at these. I'm going to pick one and open it up and I'll give you a better sense of what an empirical research article is. When we scroll down, if we want to find out more about a particular uh, journal or about a particular article, we can click on the hot blue link to the abstract. This gives us the journal it appeared in. This gives us the authors. 
There's those, those subject headings again, but most important, you'll have to read the abstract to determine if this is an empirical research article. An empirical research article is one where the authors of the, of the article actually did the study. They didn't just describe a program or give an overview, they actually did a study with participants, results, and some methodology. When we read this abstract, it says, the purpose of this qualitative study was to explore how literature discussion affects middle school struggling readers. The focus was on 16 middle school struggling readers in a rural Title I school. This is a qualitative study with a very small group, but it's still an empirical research article. The authors did a study, they had a methodology, and they produced results. If we want to check a little bit more to see if this is really an empirical research article, we'll look at the article itself. Oftentimes there'll be some linking mechanism, a PDF and a HTML button or something on this record to give you the full text. On this one, it's down here near the bottom. When I click on this, there's a link to the PDF. And now I have the actual article from the Journal of Language and Literacy Education. We've already taken a look at the abstract. So let's scroll down and look at the article. There in the subheadings, I can see method, settings, and participants. If you open up the article, this is the sort of subheadings you want to see, results, methods, participants. Oftentimes you can get a good idea of this from the abstract. This is a solid empirical research article, even if they only use 16 students. This is the kind of thing that you want for uh, any assignment that requires that. I'm going to X out of this, X out back, and now I'm back at, this, at the abstract screen. I'm going to go back to the result list. Before that, though, I think I'm going to look at one other thing. So we have 200, which is still more than we want to look at. Now is a good time to narrow your focus a little bit more from just reading improvement and research articles. If you look at this page, the descriptors will give you other language that may describe what this study is about, and you may want to look for other articles that are, that are similar to this. In this one, they specifically did a qualitative study with middle school students. We can narrow it down to middle schools just by simply typing in middle schools in this field and hitting search. Now we've really narrowed it down. We've got research, reading improvement in middle schools. But one thing I need to point out, typing in research is a good way to narrow your search, but it doesn't guarantee that everything you've found is a research article. You still have to scroll through and look at some of the abstracts. For instance, the second one, Breaking the Barriers to Reading Success in Middle and High Schools, when I open this up, it gives me a general description for decades minority students have been falling behind non-minority students, talks indeed about some of the strategies, but there's nothing in here about a study, there's nothing in here about a population or methods. We might want to take a look at the full text of the article. And when I scroll down through here, Sure enough, this is a nice overview article of strategies you might employ in a classroom, but there's really nothing in here where an actual study was done with participants, methods, or results. This would not be an empirical research article. Let me go back to the result list and we'll look at one more. Here's number four, after school tutoring for reading achievement, achievement and urban middle school students. And when I scroll down to look at the abstract, 
Right in the first sentence, this research study's purpose or theme was to qualitatively investigate the reading component. I won't even bother to open up the full text of the article over here because I think you can pretty much rely that this is an empirical research article. What you're really looking for in empirical research is an actual study with participants, methods, and results. We don't always, as I said, we just typed in research in select a field and narrowed it down. There's other terms you can type in besides research that can help. Let me do a search on another topic. I'll go back up to here to the thesaurus and I'll say that I'm looking for standardized test. And we'll see if that's a, if that's a subject descriptor. There it is, standardized test. And by the way, if you type in one of these and you want to find other related terms you can use as a descriptor, you can always click on these and you can load any of these up into that descriptor field. High stakes test, national competency test, those are all more specific terms. For right now, I'm going to click on standardized test, I'm going to put it up here, and I'm going to do search. Now I've got a new test or excuse me, a new search on standardized test. I need to go back and put those limitations in place. I'm going to click on advanced search. Just like we did before, we're going to scroll down and click on peer reviewed. Put our date limitators in, our date limitations in. and we want to click on only journal articles. I know that many people will look up here and see this full text button. That's not a good idea to use. I'll show you in a minute that you can click on a red box that's attached to most of the abstracts to get full text. If you click on, that, on this now, you'll lose that option. So I've got standardized test in my subject field. I've got my limitations down here. I'm going to try another term to try and pull up empirical research articles. I'm just going to type in participants. We'll do participants. We'll see what we get. We got 193. Let's see if some of these are empirical research articles. Understanding unresponsiveness to tier two reading intervention? Yes, the purpose of this current study was to examine academic and cognitive profiles of first graders. That's another thing, when you get a set like this, 193, as I mentioned before, what you probably want to do is look through these descriptors and see if there's some language here for you to narrow it down. One of the uh, ideas in, in this study, it was specifically focused on primary education and elementary education. If I want to narrow this, my search down a little bit, I can do elementary education and now I've got 69 hits. Even though I typed in participants, as I said before, you're not assured that every one of these is going to be a research article until you open up the abstract and look at it. I think I, you've got a pretty good idea of how to do the searching and now I want to mention why you don't want to click on that full text button until now. As you can see, many of these articles are not automatically linked full text, but they do come with this option, the find it full text box. This will oftentimes connect you to full text. This right here, and you click on it. Here's once again the abstract, and over here is the Adobe Acrobat Reader button. And when I pull this up, there's the article. Uh, if you were printing this at a printer, 
you basically would want to click on the printer up here. If you do not see a toolbar up here with a print option, scroll your cursor around the bottom of the page and sometimes a toolbar will pop up with a print option. As I mentioned, if you don't automatically get a full text, you can click on the Find It Full Text. I'm going to spend just a few seconds and see if I can find one where you would have to get, get the article through Interlibrary Loan. I'm going to assume, for the sake of argument, that this is an article that we want to get. And when we click on the Find It Full Text button, it's going to give you an option besides automatic access to full text. When I click on Find It Full Text, it says, this article not available, request it using Iliad. If this is an article you really want or you think will be valuable, do not be discouraged by this. The turnaround time for electronic articles is really about three to five days and it will arrive in your email box, the actual electronic article. In order to use this, you must register. When I click on this, I'm already registered and I'm logging in just like I do with my Blackboard account. When I click on Log On, so when I clicked on to get into Iliad, it pulled up this information in a form and I would click on Submit. Off it goes, when it comes back, you will get an interlibrary loan request uh, message in your email. You'll pull up an article, a screen like this, Click on electronically received articles, and these are electronically received articles that I have. And the turnaround time is about three to four days. If you've never used this before, when you click on this, it will prompt you to fill out a registration screen. So do not be discouraged if this is the article you want. Click on Iliad, fill out the registration form, back yourself to this screen, click on Iliad again, and you can get the article. What I basically have done is just taken you through a quick overview of how to get empirical research articles uh, within a 10-year time limit. The thing to start out is basically pick what your subject will be, plug a term in down here like participants, results, research, and then look for the articles. Bear in mind, you won't automatically get research articles. You'll have to click on the title and look at the abstract. If you would like to see some samples of research articles, if you are looking at this um, video on my LibGuide, you can go back to the LibGuide. There's a tab there that says Representative and Sample Articles. You can click on those and they'll give you a set of representative and sample research articles on various topics and using various methodologies. Thank you for your time. If you need to contact me further, my information is on the LibGuide.